I can only imagine how it is to be with you. From the first day I saw your face, I knew this love hey, was true. Hey, good morning, and what is up, Buttercups? It is Amy and Jared. Jared Love. Mwah. We are coming to you on a Sunday morning, which y'all know what that means. Usually for us, when it's Sunday morning, what's mommy going to make today? Come here, sit down. What's mommy going to make for breakfast today? French toast. French toast, and what else? Sausage. And sausage. You love your French toast and sausage, don't you? Yes, mommy makes that for him usually on Saturday or Sundays, usually. Um, if you haven't noticed, it's unusually bright in my room because of the sun reflecting off the snow outside. That's how like bright it is. And now I walk in the living room this morning, my son's got all the blinds up and everything. I'm like, ah, uh, like blinding. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm going to make some French toast today, and I'm going to be vlogging that, of course. So, uh, we're going to get this day started in just a moment, and um, see you all in the kitchen. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Can't tell if I got this thing working right. Hold on. Uh, Alright, there we go. Got my tripod set up. Sure, y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right, guys, I think we got it set up. I believe so. Here, there we go. Love it better. All right, so we're gonna start a little cooking here. We're gonna. First off, got some sausage going here. Look at that. Got the sausage cooking. Got a little sausage action going on. We're actually going to turn it down a little bit because it's getting a little crispy. All right. All right. So, the best way I usually start, I got four eggs. They are, they've been left out for a little bit. To get to room temperature because when they're room temperature they're easier to mix up just a little FYI so we're starting with like four jumbo eggs these eggs are really abnormally larger than jumbo for some reason oh we got a double yolk ha I don't know how often all y'all see that but we get double yolks in here can you see it can you see it there it is yep got some double yolk action going on there See? That's pretty cool, huh? So, uh, yeah. Alright, so we may not need four. So, I have a feeling this may be a double yolk as well. Let me see. We may only have to use three. Oh, that's a single one. There we go. Yeah, we are definitely not going to need four because I had a double yolk. So... Actually, I'm going to have to use it, now that I thought of it, because I've already taken it out and it's already gotten room temperature. Well, actually, it's still kind of cold, so, you know what, we'll put this one back. Country Fresh. Country Fresh Eggs. It's all about the freshness. <laughs> so, we just bought eggs yesterday, milk, and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, so, alright, so we start with the four eggs, or in this case, it's going to be three eggs. We got milk, we put milk in it. Usually I use, I eyeball it, but I use about, I guess, eight to maybe a quarter of a cup, depending on the eggs, sizes, and stuff like that. Um, mix this up a little bit. Break some of these yolks up, get it mixed up. And I whip mine like this. This is easy to whip it like this and it is to sit there and use a blender or, you know, hand mixer. So, got that mixed up into like kind of a frothy thing. Next thing we use, vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Let's see here. Another thing, eyeballing. Depends how much you like the taste of vanilla. We like it quite a bit, so I put usually about a 
teaspoons worth or so in. And it'll change the color of your eggs a little bit, but not too much. Get some like kind of a darkerish yellow color. This is the best way to mix it up, I find. This is here. So, okay, got the rim all whipped up. Got our frying pan, a little bit of canola oil spray I use. I live on this stuff. And actually, you know, I have two different kinds. They have canola and they have the butter flavor. So, like, if I'm cooking, like, something that requires butter in it, I'll use the butter flavor one. So that way it kind of gets away with a little bit of less calories and whatnot. So, all right, get my bread action going on here. A lot of people use standard sandwich bread. I use Italian. I use Italian sliced bread because, first off, they're bigger. It's bigger slices. So, um, all right, there we go. And in, believe it or not, the best thing to use when you're using your bread, people automatically think, oh, yeah, I need a fresh loaf of bread. No, 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 no. You want some good French toast that's going to be a little on the crispy side outside and nice and soft inside. Use bread that's like two, three days old because it gets a little bit firmer and it soaks up a lot more of the juice so it tastes better. So a lot of people automatically want to just go for the gusto and put all brand new stuff in there. Sometimes the brand new doesn't work as well. You know, it won't suck up as much of the moisture and whatnot. So we're going to work on boobaloos first. Usually I get like three pieces of toast. He gets two. So this is how I do I got my little special pan that I use, just simply pour it over, you don't have to do the whole mixture, just enough to like satisfy the bread that's in there, we're going to turn our pan on, get that nice and hot, and sizzling, yes, my hands are clean, so basically just want to make sure the bread is all nice and coated, it's sucking up some of that egg wash. See that action going on in there, I hope. Can you see all that? See it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The way the camera's set up, it's hard to tell because I got one of them rear view cameras that I can't really see what I'm doing, so I gotta kind of check it every so often. So, alright. My pan is slowly warming. And I, I mean, some people could throw it right on the pan if they want to. Um, personally for me, I like to like get it hot first before I put all my food on there because that way it sears the bread a little bit better, gives it that nice golden brown flavor without being soggy. So, it's getting there. It doesn't take long. I have the gas heat, so it doesn't take long at all. Alright, let's see here. So, we're going to flop this up here. a little bit colder than I would have liked it, but that's okay. So, and meanwhile, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to put my bread in. Since this is towards the end of the, end of the loaf type of thing, I'll use the, the heels of the bread and stuff like that for my toast. So, pour the rest of the mixture in here. Yum. So, alrighty. Hope everybody's doing good this morning, and Enjoying their Sunday morning, wherever you are located. Here we are kind of, we're not snowed in per se, because we didn't get a lot of snow, but when it's a snow day, I, I'm not a big traveler on a snow day if I really don't have to. So, this is our snowy mixture. And honestly, this is probably going to be more of a, more of a brunch than a, than a breakfast type of a deal. So, uh. Yep, we're working on Jay's right now. That's starting to cook up. You can actually smell the vanilla cooking already. It smells wonderful. I love me vanilla. So, my bread's in there. It's soaking away. As you can tell, I pulled a lot of the mixture in there. That's how it should look because you shouldn't have any mixture left. The bread, it was dried out enough where you could actually, it sucks up more of the juices and stuff. Alright, let's see. Let's check out what this French toast is starting to look like. I'm going to move this over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Alright. There. Now 
try and get some real action, some cooking action here. So, yep, got the bread slowly starting to simmer on the one side. And then you can see how it browns up really nice. And it doesn't take long at all, like a minute, two minutes max usually, to whip up some breakfast or some French toast. The sausage probably takes longer to cook than anything. So, um, we're going to turn our sausage back on, get that warmed up. So his breakfast is almost done. It's getting there. This is definitely something you don't want to walk away from either. I'm sure everybody knows how to make French toast. You just want to see how honey. <laughs> Alright. It's getting there. Slowly but surely it's getting there. Sausage is starting to cook away. And this is like the maple brown sausage that we get usually. And uh, he seems to like that. So, Alright, so our toast is pretty much toasted at this point. As you can see it's starting to smoke a little bit. And we don't want it to burn. So sure it's nice and brown. Pop that up on some plate. That's the finished product. It's probably going to be videotaping upside down, I'm sure. And mess me all up, I'm sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So that's it. That's our finished product of our French toast and sausage morning. Hope it was educational for you. So, uh, get back to some regular vlogging, I guess. Hey guys, well, it is Sunday evening, the little man is in bed, mama's about to sit down and get a little editing done, and I'm jumping in this vlog girl's chat for the evening, and uh, yeah, that's going to be the long and the short of it for this evening. I'm contemplating, I think I want to do an unboxing tomorrow. Um, I, I don't know what I need or don't need for this, but... I am thinking about doing an unboxing of my new drone, and I don't think it's going to be nice enough weather necessarily to fly it, but I want to get an idea of how it works and everything. So, what I'm going to ask y'all to do, whoever's going to be seeing this, probably some, keep an eye out for tomorrow. I'll probably end up doing it as a live stream, because I think that would probably be a little better. I can get better feedback from whoever would like to join in on the live stream. I would be looking at probably around 11, 12 o'clock of doing a live stream, Eastern Standard Time. So, um, yeah, in the meanwhile, click, click the like, subscribe, and all that. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. But you already taken Nothing I can do So I can only imagine How it is to be with you I can only imagine us both loving through the night I can only imagine us together side by side I can only imagine we're dancing in the moonlight I can only imagine I can only imagine I want to know if you will be my favorite